Welcome back, so glad you can join me again. Today I'm sharing with you my 2014 face and flops. Oh yes, there's also a giveaway in this video, so please stay tuned to the end of the video for details about the giveaway. For best palettes, I could only narrow it down to top three. I just couldn't pick, um, you know, just one. So, okay. Um, the one that everybody is talking about, of course, the Lorac Mega Pro palette. Um, it's beautiful, you've probably seen enough reviews about it to get sick of it, but I think it's just a gorgeous palette, it works with all skin tones. Um, the next palette on the list is da -da -da -da! Um, Urban Decay's Vice 3 palette. Okay, some people have not liked this because of the packaging but um, I don't mind it I quite like it it's different um, but I have to say I really do love 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 the eyeshadows I think the quality of the eyeshadows are amazing it's what I've got my eyes now um, blended out I just love all of the colors in here just brilliant really lovely and then uh, the other one is the Bobbi Brown little palette that came in a kit. Um, this is the one called Mixed Metals and it's a shimmer brick eye palette. It was part of like the um, one of the holiday sets. And it's the smallest little palette ever. It's so pigmented. I mean, I just love it. Um, if I was going traveling, this would be all I would take with me. And metallics are sort of like the in trend now, so um, I just think this part's brilliant. I loved it so much that I actually bought a backup of this one. Cutest, cutest makeup item for 2014 is the shoe pet. Um, this is the shoe pet has it all eye and lip palette. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is so kawaii, kawaii, kawaii. Um, oh my god. I was like stalking all the shoe Uramura counters in Sydney and saying like leaving my name and saying please, 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 please call me, keep one for me, keep everything for me. And yeah, true enough they did, and I got them. So happy. Um, so, this is the case that you get. Nice furry thing. Lovely. And then you get like this palette, which is the all-in-one palette. You open it up. It's just so cute. I just love everything about it. Um, you get like uh, six lip glosses, lipsticks, lip glosses, and you get like eight um, eyeshadow colors that are all really, really pretty. Um, I just love, and this giant mirror, I mean, I just think this palette is so well designed. The little cat, the shoe pet, reminds me a lot of my um, cat, Indy. Um, then, um, best like everyday palette is the It Cosmetics uh, Naturally Pretty palette. Um, I love all the colors, I think there's like a good range of warm and cool colors here. Surprisingly, even though I've used it quite a fair bit, the sort of suede um, texture to it hasn't gotten really dirty at all. So, I really do recommend this palette if you want to get one for everyday wear. So, for top cream eyeshadows, I have two. Um, they're actually two brands. Um, they're the uh, By Terry uh, Ombre Black Star um, Cream Eyeshadow Pens. So I've been so obsessed with them. I've collected like almost every single one. I think I don't have every single one, but almost every single one. I'll just swatch some colors for you. I mean, these pencils are just so beautiful. 
they go on really smooth um, and they last all day and they blend out really well um, and then the other ones that I really like are the ones by Marc Jacobs and they're in the Twinkle Pop formula the packaging is just divine these have a slightly different um, formula to them they have a bit more of like a sparkle in them this color is so cute um, it's the one called Layla it's like a very unusual um, bright reddish coral color so those are the Marc Jacob ones that's the Aura black star ones I think these I would describe as being more opaque where these ones where you shear it out you get to see more of like um, sort of like a sparkle glitter to them but both are just divine really love those next thing is best brow product that has worked for me so just to show you, I've tried the pomade from Anastasia by Beverly Hills. I've tried this Korean one called The Paste Shop. I've um, been using that for the longest time, it's like pencil. Um, I've tried Kimi Brow by Benefit, um, Tarte's um, Amazonian Clay Volumizing Brow Powder, and also the uh, Brow Wiz by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then sort of like my fail, like my go-to if I'm having bad brows, um, is the Ultimate Brow Kit Wet in the Wild. And honestly, I think this year I'm going to say the winner is um, M Cosmetics Arch Longwear Brow Liner in the color brunette. For some reason, I don't know, like, even though when I look at it, like, in the pencil form, and I think, huh, this color might not suit me, it actually seems to work really well for me, and it's not too expensive either, so... And they're always having sales, so you know when they go on sales, I'm gonna pick one up soon because uh, I'm running out of that one. So there you go. I have tested brow products, <laughs> so I can safely say I do know what they are like. So for best contour kit, I've tried a few. Um, this is my good old trusty my sculpted face one. Like I've been using this for like almost two years now. I have not hit pan yet. And I sort of use mostly this one and these two colours and sometimes I might mix this in during summer if I get a bit more tanned. And then also I tried out this one which was like crazy difficult to get. This is the contour kit from Anastasia by Beverly Hills. Nice product. Um, I think it's um, this colour here. It's really pretty. I love uh, as like a highlight to your brow bone. All the colors are very creamy in consistency, but um, you know, I wouldn't say that it is any more special than the other two that I've shown you. So for me, I think best overall contour kit would still be My Sculpted Face by IT Cosmetics because it's great value for money and you know, I think you can still I mean, there's so much you can do, but you can even use these to do like a dark chocolate smoky eye. I think they'll be really good. So, what's up next is best lipsticks. Um, I've just been totally infatuated by by beauty lipsticks. Um, what I've got here are just a few of what I've managed to collect. Um, they're not cheap, um, but then like most high end lipsticks, they're not cheap. <laughs> Um, what I've got here is the BB for lips in suede. What I really like about Bite Beauty is that it smells like sarsaparilla or sarsi, depending from where you come from. It smells divine. And they're made of like food grade uh, quality ingredients, so it's perfectly fine for you to like eat them. Um, because I read an article once saying that, you know, um, women eat like 25 kilograms of like wax because of um, them wearing lipstick. So that got me pretty paranoid. And so when I learned about bite lipsticks, I totally, totally went nuts for them. And then the other ones that I really loved this past year were... The Marc Jacobs Kiss Pops, I just think the packaging is so divine. It's so easy to sort of like pop into my purse. Um, you know, it's a lot like um, 
the Revlon Kissable Lip Balms, but it's, you know, kind of really more compact. And, you know, every time I take this out and I'm putting it on, um, I just feel so stylish. It's like, you know, Marc Jacobs, yay. Um, then I also really like the Urban Decay um, Revolution lipsticks. This one's my favorite color. Look at that, pow. That is so intense. This one's called Anarchy. Love it. And then finally, finally, finally. See, look at how pigmented Anarchy is. And next up are the NARS Audacious lipsticks. Um, I can't choose out of the ones that I've shown you which are the best lipsticks. Um, yeah, it's just too hard. Um, but these are amazing. First of all, I think the design is divine. It has like this metallic clip. You can't clip it in a different way. It just won't close. It just flips and clips by itself. And the pigmentation on these things is just intense. And they're all named after famous actresses. That's Angela, which happens to be my mom's name. This one's called Fanny. which I absolutely love, that one. And then the next one is Anita, which is a nice uh, pinky new color there for everyday wear. I just love them. They last for a long time. A little bit goes a long way. Um, I think they're a great investment piece. And um, yeah, nice formula, smells nice. Um, next up is best overall brand and I think clearly the winner for 2014 is Makeup Geek. Um, I think Marlena is an inspiration for all of us um, starting out on YouTube. Um, she's just such a lovely lady um, and you can see in her products just how much of an effort she puts into them. Well, I guess you can tell just by the quality of a product how much effort she puts into designing them. Um, you know, I've tried her brushes. Well, I guess you can tell just by the quality of a product how much effort she puts into designing them. Um, you know, I've tried her brushes. I really I love them. They're so soft um, to hold them. It's just, just such a nice feeling. You know, sometimes a brush can be very small, soft on the top, but when you hold it, it's, it's like a total experience, that's what I'm trying to say. And then, like, her pigments are amazing, like, I just want a few here. She's come out with some amazing, amazing products, like her blushes this year are just so pigmented, like, and they're very long wearing and super affordable. Same goes for all of her eyeshadows as well. They're super affordable and long wearing. And in 2014, she also came out with the uh, foiled eyeshadows, which are just divine. And also, she came out with the uh, Vegas Collection palette, um, which is her first uh, palette, her Vegas Lights palette. And honestly, these colors are just so me. I love these colors. And if I was only allowed like six eyeshadows, it would just be these six eyeshadows. So yeah, thank you so much Makeup Geek for all these lovely products um, and making it so affordable um, for us to look pretty. The best blush for 2014, in my opinion, would be the Hourglass blushes. Um, I love all of them. Um, they also came out with this really cool palette um, that I managed to get. And it's so pretty. Look at it. They are so pigmented. Um, these two are my favorite colors. Um, they are Luminous Flush and Mood Exposure, Mood Exposure, and basically I wear like a blend of the two and that's what I've got on my cheeks now. Honestly, I've used this palette so many times and I can hardly see like a dent in them at all. 
Um, so really good value for money. I hope Hourglass will include it in its permanent collection, just like how it did with the um, the ambient lighting powder palette that it came out with in 2013. So for best mascara for 2014, um, it would be a tie between these two. So it's the Tarte Light Camera Slashes. Um, I think there must be some like um, what do they call it? Like, oh, uh, <laughs> uh, I think there must be like some like I don't know like fillers in it. Cause when I wear this, I swear my lashes are like become so long. It's just amazing. Same for fairy drops. Um, I love this. Um, both of them are in the waterproof formula because I get my eyes get teary a lot and. Also, when it's summertime, I sweat like a pig, um, so I really do need the waterproof type. And even in winter, I prefer the waterproof type because I think for me, like for my eyelashes, um, I have like the sh short and straight ones. I think the waterproof formula um, does hold the curl a lot better for me. So the best foundation for me in 2014 is probably something that a lot of people know. Um, it's the By Terry Cover Expert uh, Perfecting Fluid Foundation Flawless Velvet Radiance. Uh, really like this. Um, it's pretty good. Don't really need a lot. Um, just a little, little squirt is enough. <laughs> and then uh, NARS um, Sheer Matte Foundation. Um, this is really nice as well. I'm in Punjab, so I really like that one. And then on just, you know, I can't be bothered, need to cover up acne days, um, I use Tarte uh, Light Medium Neutral, um, and this is called the Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Airbrush Foundation. And this seems to work well um, with my acne, I don't think it actually aggravates my acne, so I really like this and I like how it's packaged, I think it's so cool. Um, so as promised, it's giveaway time. Um, this is a good giveaway to thank you all um, for sticking with me. Uh, I know I've been away for a long time. Um, so all of the rules will be down below. Um, it's a thank you for helping me get to 5k subscribers. Um, I really hope um, you help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Um, and so I've got quite a stash here. Um, all of the rules, like I said, will be in the info bar uh, below. So what you get is um, the Vice 3 palette, which I think is absolutely fabulous. Um, you'll be getting the limited edition full frontal lipstick stash, which I don't think they sell now. So in it you get like six of the Revolution lipstick minis plus a 24-7 glide on um, pencil and ozone, as you can see. And to complete the set, you will be getting the Urban Decay flushed. Ta-da! So three fabulous products for one lucky subscriber. Thank you guys so much. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Thanks. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.